Hi, in this session we will discuss concept based on circles. The most important concept based on circle is the uh, concept of tangent, chord and arc. Now let us first start with the question on tangent. Suppose we have three rods, cylindrical rods which is tied up with an endless chord. Now when you look at the top view of this, it will look like the diagram given here. Have a look at the diagram. By observing the diagram, we can say that the three identical chords form a three circles and there is an endless chord tied along with it. Now we are supposed to find out the area of this uh, rope which is an endless and it is given to us that the radius of the rod is r centimeter. In this case, first of all, there are two parts. First part is the curved portion of the rope and second part is the straight portion of the rope. If we observe carefully, the straight portion of the road has three parts on either side of the triangle so formed. Now, the distance between the straight part touching the first circle and second circle will be nothing but the straight distance between two centers of the circle. That is nothing but radius plus radius of both the circles. Hence, 2R. So, such a distance is repeated three times on all the three sides. Hence, the total length in the straight form will be 2R plus 2R plus 2R that is 6R. Now, the circular portion of the rope. If we observe carefully, the area or the circumference covered by the rope in a circle, in one circle, is nothing but one third of the entire portion of the circle. If we look at the degree so formed, at the center, we can identify that there is an equilateral triangle if we connect all the three centers, so which will occupy 60 degree in one side and there are two perpendiculars on the tangential side of circle which will form 90 and 90 degrees each. So 90 plus 60 plus 90 will give us 240 degrees in the other side. So the length occupied in the arc will be formed by 120 degrees and hence the length of that rope will be one third the circumference of circle. So there are three such curved uh, ropes. If we add all of them, we will get the length which is equal to one circumference of a circle and that is nothing but 2 pi r. So we have in all 6 r plus 2 pi r as the total length of the rope which encircles this three rod. Next type of questions are chord based questions. Let us look at another interesting example on this. Please have a look at the diagram. We have four points A, B, C, D on a circle. If we connect all the points, we will be able to establish a lot of chords. Say here, in this case, A, B and C, D form a chord. They intersect at a point called E. Now, it is given to us that A, D is 24 and B, C is 12. And we are supposed to find out the ratio of triangle CBE to that of triangle ADE. Now, if you observe carefully, there is an interesting property that we can develop on the basis of the intersection of chord. Here, because chord intersect internally, the angles on the either side of E will be vertically opposite angle and hence they will be equal. If you look at angle B and angle D, they are formed by the same chord AB. That means if uh, angle B and angle D is formed by AC, they both angle are the uh, angle on the same side of segment. Hence, they must also be equal. Hence, we can prove that both the triangles that we need will be similar. The moment we are able to establish similarity, we can conclude that the ratio of side and ratio of their area will form a square. That means the ratio of side is already given to us, it is 24 is to 12. That is nothing but 2 is to 1. If ratio of side is 2 is to 1, the ratio of area will be nothing but 4 is to 1. The third type of questions on circle will be based on area. Now, the area of circle is pi r square, but the questions won't be that simple. 
will have to identify area of various segments of a circle. Now, let us look at an example given here. First, let us have a look at the diagram. The diagram has one circle and there is a square inside that circle. So, square is labeled as A, B, C, D. There is a shaded portion which forms a segment with the side DC. Side DC is also given to us as 4 and we are supposed to find out the area of the shaded portion. Now, as ABCD is a square and side CD is given to us as 4 units, we can conclude that the diagonal of a square will be nothing but a diameter of a circle. Diagonal of a square can be found out as 4 root 2 because the side is 4 units. Now, hence the diameter of a circle is also 4 root 2. That means radius will be 2 root 2. If we look at the area of entire circle, area of entire circle pi r square will be nothing but pi into 2 root 2 the whole square that is 8 pi. But out of 8 pi, I will have to subtract the area of a square which will give me the area of 4 segments so left out after removing that square. So 8 pi minus 16 units, this will be nothing but 8 common pi minus 2. So 8 into pi minus 2 will be the area of 4 segments. But here the question asks this only about one segment which is the shaded portion. So if I divide this by 4, I will get the area of the shaded portion mentioned over here. So 8 into pi minus 2 when divided by 4, it will give me 2 into pi minus 2. So that means 2 pi minus 4. Hence our answer will be 2 pi minus 4. I hope all the three concepts discussed in circle will be very helpful to you. Thank you.